So in the last video, we simplified our cross product, okay? And we simply got the square root of a squared equals a, okay? So at the end of last video, I forgot to multiply it by b plus a cosine of s because that's what we factored out in the first place, as we have here. We just simplified the square root. Okay, so we have taken the magnitude of the cross product, which we have here. Okay, so simply expand this. We're going to get a times b plus a squared cosine squared, uh, sorry, what am I doing? Cosine squared of s, cosine of s. There we go. Okay, that's not a squared. a b plus a cosine a squared cosine of s. So our final thing we need to do is calculate our surface integral, actually do some integration. Okay, this won't take a second at all. So I'll write it down once more. We have the magnitude of our cross product and this gave us a b plus a squared cosine of s. Okay, so we need to integrate to the double integral over our region defined by s and t, okay? So we do the double integral, okay? So s goes from zero to two pi and t goes from zero to two pi. Okay, and we simply integrate the magnitude of our cross product, which was a b plus a squared cosine of s. Okay, and the order of integration doesn't matter because the limits are exactly the same. So we can do ds dt or dt ds. Okay, I'm just going to do ds by dt. Okay, so if you integrate with respect to s, we're simply going to get the integral from 0 to 2 pi of a b s okay integrate a b a b is constant integrate a constant you just simply add your variable so a b s plus uh, a squared sine of s okay because if you integrate cosine of s, you get sine of s, okay? And we evaluate that from 0 to 2 pi dt. Okay? Right, so this is equal to... So you get the integral from 0 to 2 pi, okay? So if you plug in 2 pi for sine s, you just get 0, so that becomes 0. So overall we get 2 pi ab, okay? And we integrate that with respect to dt, okay? And then finally, this is simply, you guessed it, 2 pi abt, okay? Evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. And this is the final step. We just need to evaluate, okay? So, plug in 2 pi for t. This is equal to 2 pi a b multiplied by 2 pi. And then we minus, of course, plug in 0 for t. That just gives us 0. And then finally, this is the formula for the surface area of a donut or a torus. It doesn't matter. <laughs> It is 4 pi squared AB. Okay, so there you have it. Surface area for a torus using a surface integral.